Sarah Crampton, and this is my thoroughbred cross Hudson. Why would you use a Pelham bit? The Pelham bit gives you quite a bit more control than a plain Snapple. It's, it's going up quite a level as far as your ability to help the horse flex at the pole. The top ring of the Pelham is the Snaffle ring. And traditionally, the top ring to go on the Snaffle ring would be fatter than the smaller curb ring. So when you're riding, you have the ability to use just the Snaffle rein or just the curb rein if you need it, or you can use them both together. So it is very useful in, number one, giving you a little bit of power, especially maybe jumping fences. It's often used in the hunter arena for big, strong horses. It's used out in the hunting field, actually, for fox hunting quite often. Um, and it is used a lot in flat classes for breeds like Arab shows or paint, pinto shows, quarter horse shows. It is not, however, used in the dressage arena. It is illegal in the dressage arena. Uh, once you get to upper level dressage, you actually use two bits, and that is what the Pelham bit is combining into one bit. The upper level dressage riders actually have two bits in their mouth. One is the snaffle and one is the curb. So we have them together here in the Pelham bit. To adjust the curb chain, it is always used with a curb chain, um, simply twist the links until they lie flat, and then take the slack out, and you should be able to put a couple fingers underneath the curb chain, and then just put the extra part of the curb chain up on the hook. So when you are riding, you actually carry and maybe I'll get up and show you, you actually carry the reins crossed. And I know that sounds confusing, but you want the snaffle rein to be the bottom rein in your hand because that's the one you're going to go to most often. The curb rein actually crosses and goes between your other two fingers. You can see them crossing there. So if I was going to be riding, you could see there's the snaffle bit is underneath, and when I pull on the reins, I'm most likely going to be pulling on that snaffle rein. That's the gentler rein. So I can go to the curb a little less often, only when I need it. Some people don't care for having two reins in their hands. Uh, but if you would like to just use it, the Pelham bit works for you, but you want to use one rein, you can use a bit converter. And this goes into the snaffle ring and the curb ring and then you simply attach one rein on this piece of leather. So you'll be pulling on both rings at the same time. But it does allow you to use a Pelham bit with just one rein. And that is the function of the Pelham bit. Thank you.